Now, this week, Iran goes to the ballot box to elect a new president. The outcome could have a huge influence on the standoff between the Islamic Republic and the West over its nuclear program. Iran is also, of course, a key regional power, but its economy is stumbling and the presidential race has become a showdown between hardliners and reformists. John is in Iran to cover the run-up and the vote. Krishnan, one of the eight candidates on the slate for the presidency has dropped out today and there is now pressure on another also to drop out uh, so that the uh, reformist ticket, as a rather elastic word as I mentioned last night, uh, so that the reformist ticket can be reunited. Um, we've been out today to look at the candidates and see what they might mean both for Iran and for us in the West. Middle morning in downtown Tehran. Welcome to the online headquarters of candidate and mayor of this city, Mohammed Bakr Kalibaf. What it lacks in actual supporters, it more than makes up with pictures of him. But online is certainly playing a role in this campaign when it survives the heavy internet filters and blackouts. Kalibaf has greened this city, not with the green reform movement crushed here in 2009, but with saplings on every central reservation and every sidewalk. He's cut the smog and built infrastructure. But of the abroad, he has no formal experience. The man with that is Saeed Jalili. Welcome to his headquarters. Spare and ascetic, his election would signal to the outside world that this nuclear negotiator, who remembers Iran's assassinated nuclear scientists on his posters, would be a no-change president in Iran's posture to the outside world. The young mullah here tells me he's a member of the hardline Revolutionary Guard, the forceful defenders of Iran's powerful theocratic regime. In fact, all the men in this room are members. There's speculation that the Guard is the organization behind Jalili. But when you see your congregation in the mosque, don't you find that the economy, jobs, inflation, that those are really the things that are in their hearts? If the economy was so important to them, it would have been like Europe and people would have come out onto the streets in protest, and they haven't. In a side room sits an influential MP and backer of Mr. Jalili. He talks to me generally about the man he's backing and then declares if Iran rejects the nuclear negotiator, they will be doing so because they want an even harder line taken against the West. Well, there is no harder line candidate. The reform candidate is perhaps surprisingly a cleric, Dr. Rouhani, who once favoured a crackdown on reformers, but today is openly calling for a change of direction in relations abroad. Purple is his colour, his offices are well organised. If there is a candidate of Iran's youth, he is it, and everyone talks of him as the reform candidate. Here then is the Jalili Rouhani contest, if this proves to be a free and fair election. This afternoon, I made it to a women's rally here in Tehran. Star attraction, Ali Akbar Veliati, former veteran foreign minister. They waved and shouted for nearly two hours for him. They blame sanctions for the parlous state of the economy and think Veliati might help. Whatever economic trouble we have is because of the sanctions. He's the person who can remove them. Talking to others, I found Dr. Veliati viewed as a compromise in favor of some change, but not as vivid as the purple reform-minded campaign of Dr. Rahani. Well, John, you're there in Tehran, but how does it look elsewhere in Iran? Well, that's the problem, Krishnan. I mean, here in Tehran, if it was just a vote here, the mayor would win. He out Boris is Boris. I mean, this is a man who has extended the metro, built a six-kilometer um, tunnel through Tehran. He's a man who has planted, as I said in that piece, trees all over the place. He's a real dynamo. He's a, a technocrat. But he's also, of course, a hardliner. But if uh, Mr. Jalili really is counted, well, then you have to look at him. And across the country, these revolutionary guards are everywhere. He's also a heroic figure here. He's regarded as the man who resists uh, what they call American belligerence, is what they call their nuclear attitude. And so he, he would have a very strong uh, chance. And I would say tonight that the betting is on him, but don't count out the reformists completely. They're there on the inside.